Hi Android folks, how are you doing? Kevin is back to bring you another ROM review for your Galaxy Nexus, the GSM version. Don't know if um, Liquid Smooth is available for the Toro, the CDMA version. Um, so guys, this is Liquid Smooth version 2.0. Liquid Smooth um, was very popular in the ICS builds. Um, it started to become popular on the Galaxy Note, for example. I had this build on my Galaxy Note. It was a kind of beta alpha version, but it worked. And uh, Liquid Smooth is popular for uh, being a very small system, so the ROM file is very, it's it's reduced, and um, all your bloatware. Yeah, on your Nexus you don't. I usually have bloatware, but um, for example, Video Studio was not on this ROM when I installed it, and Gmail, yeah, it's part of the um, Google Google Apps, G Apps. But guys, this ROM is really smooth because of yeah, it um, stripped down a bit, scaled down, and um, the ROM file is not uh, as big as as you would expect, and um, Liquid Smooth um, supports um, Liquid Launcher and Liquid Splasher. This will uh, you will get that um, in the settings menu, and I will change to to English here. So yeah, should have done before, but now it's fast. So guys, you get Liquid Launcher, it's basically kind of trebuchet launcher with a, another options here, but basically it's the same. You get, um, you can um, change the spacing on the left or the right um, of the home screens. You can choose the grid size up to 7 rows and the columns also to 7. Um, you can hide the labels of, of your shortcuts. Um, disable for scrolling the wallpaper. So that's not so spectacular. Um, before we get to the ROM control of Liquid Smooth Jelly Bean, um, the Liquid Splasher, we will get to the advanced features device. That's you will get that also. So guys, you can when you are. Um, not happy with the colors here on the display, you can mess with it, you get color hack presets. But I don't think anybody would do that because... Little lighting problems here. So guys, you get the um, color hack presets, you can for example choose dark blue, or natural, or dark cold, and these look really weird. Just keep the default one. And you get a um, general CPU. You can do um, you can do nothing here. But you can uh, guys you can overclock the GPU, it's part of the kernel. I overclocked it to 384 MHz, 384 uh, MHz, and you can Go up to 512 MHz, but um, I don't think that's really cool because some your phone will get very hot while playing 3D games. And the default one is 307. And um, by the way, I can sh show you the Antutu benchmark results. Um, Antutu benchmark. You will get 6,821 points. That's the um, average score you will get with other um, jelly bean ROMs. And guys, now let's get to the ROM control. Um, settings. And Liquid Splasher, it's called. And it's kind of uh, team baked. Um, ROM control style here, it's not as, um, it's kind of, yeah, it's only a list and 
Yeah, I think the ROM control in AOKP is much easier to. Yeah, it's more organized, but um, let's begin with the display. You can enable, for example, 180 degrees rotation. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but I don't think you need that. Um, enable the lock screen rotation. You can, yeah, you can mess with the notification light, the default colors, and something. And uh, the volume rock awake. Don't recommend that. So, guys, the interface you can type in a, a custom carrier label. Hello. Kind of difficult behind the camera here, but this has worked. Hello. And you can um, disable the boot animation for um, for faster boot. And you can directly change your LCD density here. Um, interface, yeah. Um, lock screen. You can change the alignment of the clock, so when you want center clock. Yeah, looks very clean. Here I'm in the center. Also very cool. You can display the weather information. Yahoo weather. You can um, type in your custom location and your update interval. Um, yeah, your slider shortcuts. Everyone knows that you can here. You can have one. Uh, down here, um, CM10 does not support that. That you can set um, some shortcuts here. So that's also very cool. So liquid smooth. As you see, it's really, really smooth and fast. Really can recommend this ROM. Uh, between, um, by the way, I will post a links here in the description for the liquid smooth wallpapers. These are not pre-installed in this ROM, but I post the link uh, for you to get them. Of course, you can um, change your navigation buttons here. I made them a little, a little smaller here. The height you can, you can go down to 30 or 24. DP. <laughs> Don't think you will. You will hit them properly. Mm. Go back to 40. Yeah, the power menu. You can mess with it when you often take screenshots. Um, just tap here. Very easy. Um, sound. Volume panel style singer. You can, for example, choose expanded. So when you um, make your phone silent or something you can also mess with it here the notification and media and um, alarm um, yeah you can mess with it very easy face down audio mode so when you place your phone um, with a display with the screen on the table it will make your phone silent um, yeah you get now let's get to the um, notification drawer, notification bar. You get the uh, power widget of CM10. So you can play several toggles here and swipe when you have more than six toggles there. Um, you can change between AOKP toggles and and CM10 toggles so you can yeah, you can also, now these are, let's choose this one, no, that that hasn't changed actually. Um, yeah, the widget, power widget, it's this here. Don't understand that here. Yeah, let's continue with the widget here. Um, this is the power widget, you can change the widget buttons and widget order. Just tap here and hold and change the order. Very easy. Um, yeah. And hide on change, you can also activate that. When you tap, it will close the notification bar. Um, yeah. Status bar, of course, you can mess with the icon style here. Circle mod, I have enabled it. Yeah, you can also icon with text, for example. Uh, 
Style. Center clock. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I really like it. And day of the week. You can disable that or enable. Yeah. Very cool ROM. Um, so these are the kernel options. You can your I.O. scheduler, deadline or seal. I always keep the default one. Um, USB fast charge you can activate when you um, plug in your USB cable from your PC. It will charge as uh, fast as you would expect when you use the wall charger. So, so that's also cool when you don't often use your um, USB cable to sync your, um, your, your media for example. Processor you can overclock this ROM to to 1.65 gigahertz. I kept it on 1.35. I think it's really fast and battery friendly. Charged it um, this morning and I got 81% but was out um, um, before um, I made this review. I make this review. Um, yeah. And I used the phone a bit. But I think that's okay. When the ROM is new, when you flash a new ROM, it will always um, calibrate your battery and it will have to wait until um, everything um, skates down to normal, the percent to um, milliamp hours on your battery. Startup, you can, yeah, clear cache on every boot and fix permissions. Yeah, I think that's all. Really great ROM. Also, you get the, uh, the theme chooser from CM10. Really cool ROM. Battery smooth, of course. And yeah, this is... Um, I can show you the wallpapers. The wallpapers... Um, yeah. These are the uh, wallpapers, wallpapers which come not stuck with this ROM. Give you a link for that, and you have the nice wallpapers here. So, guys, that's it. My ROM review of Liquid Smooth. Really recommend this ROM. Really battery friendly, and lot of customization. And guys, flash it and have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Please hit that like button here and subscribe button up there if you like what you saw. So, guys, bye.